Today on the channel, Jushin Thunder Liger Mania is running wild as we got three more Jushin Thunder Liger Ringside Collectibles exclusives. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jushin Thunder Liger unboxing and review via Storm Collectibles and Ringside Collectibles, as these are sold on Ringside Collectibles' website. I believe an exclusive to them. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. But Jushin Thunder Liger, one of the all-time greats from New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, made a lot of uh, noise in WCW back in the uh, olden times, back in the 90s. Yes, the 90s. My first... Uh, Memory of Jushin Thunder Liger, probably a lot like you guys, against Brian Pillman out there in WCW land. Uh, but Jushin Thunder Liger, a guy that stole my heart at an early age, never let go after all these years. You guys know I love masked wrestlers. So I was all in, and he recently retired, as we know. And we know we had four figures of him in the past via Ringside Collectibles, a company called Knots, I believe it was, it was called, over in Japan. That's the most limited one, and I do have that one. And we'll compare, we'll put all seven of them on the table uh, at the end of the video, and we'll talk about them all together, uh, just like we normally do on the channel here. But we also know there's another Jushin Thunder Liger in his debut outfit coming uh, in a month or so via Ringside as well. I just don't know how many uh, Jushin Thunder Ligers they're going to make, but it makes sense. We talk about it on the channel all the time. we got to get the most out of our molds, and that's exactly what they're doing here. Giving us different colors, giving us different capes, stuff like that. Uh, they do come with a ton of hands, as you guys know, so you can really change the expressions of the figure up a little bit here and there. But we're up to seven right now, soon to be eight Jushin Ligers. Do we hear ten? Can we get to 10? Hulk Hogan, I believe, has 9 or possibly 10 Storm collectible figures when you put in the giant figures as well. Uh, so we've seen this in the past. So I guess if you don't understand your past, you're doomed to repeat it, as they always say. But I am excited for the day when Storm starts making some other figures out there. Uh, we'd love to see Ultimo Dragon in this kind of scale out there. The Great Muda would be a great one for me. And I would love it. I would love it if somehow we could get them to make the Legion of Doom. Can you imagine the Legion of Doom Storm Collectibles figures? They're made for Storm Collectibles. Big, muscled up dudes, face paint, different face paint gear, different gear colors. Give me the LOD, give me the Road Warriors all day long, Storm Collectibles. If Mattel can't do it, Jazzwares can't do it, Storm, I beg of you. I'm on bended knees right now. I'm a really tall guy. I'm on bended knees right now. Give me the Road Warriors. I, I'm sure Storm's watching this. I'm sure they are. So uh, hopefully we get the Road Warriors soon and you guys can all thank me later. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. We'll do this one a little bit different. We're going to show the boxes of all three at the same time. And then I'll go off camera, open them up, and get them all here. Since we got so many to look at, plus the other ones, save a little bit of time. I know you guys don't want to sit here for an hour while I sit here and review these. So... Let's start it off. Let's start it off with the purple one. Purple Jushin Thunder Liger. There it is. There's the packaging. We're familiar with this packaging. Same packaging as the last four with just some color changes to the package, which I do appreciate that. I mean, they could have used the exact same package across the board if they wanted to. So they give us a little bit of something different. One thing about these imported figures, and not just Storm Collectibles, but a lot of them, you see that kind of cellophane over the figure there. That really, to me, takes away from the mint on card experience. For you guys that collect mint on card, I don't know if some of you guys are doing that with these Storms out there, uh, it just takes away from me. It's too foggy. You can just doesn't look as special as it could look, but I understand it's for protecting the figure. These are high dollar figures compared to your regular basics, elites, unrivaled, unmatched figures, and so on. So there's a little bit more value here. So they want to make sure it's protected across the board. So we got to appreciate that. But I just feel these do not display very well compared to uh, you know other figures out there. Loose display amazingly, and we'll see that shortly here. But you got Jushin Thunder Liger down below, uh, and then, yeah, Storm Collectibles, ages 15 and up. I don't want to see any of you 14 year olds touching this toy. You'll get hurt, obviously, because it's 15 and up. Uh, you get Liger on the side there. World Legend it says, and same thing on the other side. You get a little Liger action on top and a little bit of uh, plastic to let the light in. Storm Collectibles. All the warnings you could want and a whole lot more on the bottom. And then you get the back of the package there. Just a little glamour shot of this figure plus uh, the front and back so you can kind of investigate what you're getting inside. Because, you know, it is a little murky on the front window so you know what you're getting right here. I would have loved to seen them promote the other two on the package here. 
That'd be pretty cool. Because let's say 10 years from now, you're going to say, oh, what were the three ligers that shipped at the exact same time? You're going to have all your 20 ligers mixed up together. You're never going to remember. But if you had this packaging, you could say, oh, these are the three that was in this wave series, whatever you want to call it there. So there it is, the purple Jushin Thunder Liger. And we'll rank these. I, I, at the end, maybe I'll rank them uh, between these three, which one I like the best. Uh, after the green, or after the purple, we're moving on to the green Jushin Thunder Liger. And I did actually, did a quick internet search, and I did see this green attire. So this is real attire. I assume all these are real attires. I can't say I've ever seen Jushin Thunder Liger wrestle in these, but a uh, majority of his career, I did not see his matches uh, for whatever reason. But green packaging here, kind of a dark forest green. Uh, old school Jeep color here is what I think of when I see this. The old Overland edition. The first ever Jeep Grand Cherokee, if you guys remember back in, was that 1991? 91, 92, maybe 93. 1993, the first ever Jeep Grand Cherokee came in this green color and it had the wood grain. So it was kind of the the moving from the Wagoneer to the Grand Cherokee. A little Jeep talk today. I can talk Jeeps just like I can talk action figures. Uh, but there you go. So that's what it kind of reminds me of the color on that one. But very cool looking, very Power Ranger-esque. It almost looks like the Green Ranger here. You got the same thing on the side. You got World Legend with the figure there. And same thing on that side. Warnings on the bottom. You don't need to see that again. You get the Liger logo there. And then the back, the exact same back we had before. You got them in a nice action pose, front and back, so you can see what you're getting in the package. But very, very cool, if you ask me. So there it is on that Liger. So there's the green Liger. Now we get to the old Devil Liger. I think this is when he went through his Satan worshiping phase, I have to think. Uh, looking very devilish right here, this Liger. I don't know the history of this. One of you guys can feel free to fill me in on his red attire, but I imagine this is where he's like in a hot blood feud or something like that. He's going all out. He's fiery red. He's ready to go. But there he is, old Liger, looking only like he can look there. Glamour shot in the bottom, Liger, all the stuff we saw in the other ones. Glamour shots on the side. World legend. I don't know what world legend means. I guess he is a world legend in the wrestling arena for sure. And there he is right there on the back. Same thing we've seen with the other ones. Looking pretty cool. I don't know if I, I can't read any of this writing on here. Manufactured in Hong Kong. Uh, it looks like this kind of gives a little tail of the tape over here. 95 kilograms. Uh, I'm guessing this says debuted 1989. And maybe this is from 1989. That's the same thing on all of them. So it's just a little tail of the tape. Debuted 1989, I would assume, is what that means for Liger there. Uh, but there it is. There's the packaging on the three. Now I'm going to go off camera through the magic of YouTube. I'm going to unbox all these and have them sitting right here, and we'll talk about them. All right, we're back. I got them all out of the package. And as you guys know, when we showed pictures of the package, you had the cellophane in there. Some of them had cellophane on both sides, kind of sandwiching the figure a little bit. As you can see on the purple Liger, I left the cellophane on. I'll talk about taking that off, and we'll go through that experience. But tons and tons of different hands here. Uh, many sets of hands. Really choose your own adventure with these ligers. And now that we're up to seven different ligers out there, I got to mix the hands, mix and match, try to make all of them look a little bit different. Obviously, they all look different with coloring and stuff like that. But I always feel that hands really takes it to that next level of the difference of the figure. And like we always say, it gives a little bit more expression of what you're trying to convey in your pose on your figure. So there you go. But let's start it off. Let's start talking about these a little bit. Now, I got to tell you, like I said earlier, I have no remembrance of any of these costumes on Liger. I know more of his traditional ones. I've seen his debut attire, which we're going to get later this fall. Uh, but these ones, I do not know. So feel free to leave in the comments if you guys know of any special matches or any special reasons for these attires. But I have seen a couple of stills, so I know they're... Well, I gotta imagine they're all legit attires. They're not just fantasy made-up attires. But you guys can correct me in the comments if you would like. So there we go. Well, let's start it off with the one right in front of me. We're gonna start with the old Red Liger. Now, I like this one. Black and red. Like I said, this feels like it's a Devil Liger. You know, where he's in a hot feud. There's a hot match going on. Uh, he's got his special outfit for that. That's how I imagine it. But the red, the black, and the gold, and even the white accents on the belt really uh, show through on this one. They really pop. This one really catches your eyes. Probably one of the most eye-catching ligers of all of them, at least in my opinion. Uh, as traditional, we've seen with some of these ligers before, we got a beautiful cape here. This cape is next level, very soft, almost silk-like, uh, black on the inside, red on the outside, just extremely cool. And then it does have wire in the cape, so you can you know, put it up high. You can do whatever you want with this. You can put him on a flight stand, like he's flying through air if you want to. But very, very cool. You can pop the heads off these very simply. So you could do some mix and match of the heads if you really wanted to get creative. But the heads pop off very easily. 
This is an overlay, it just sits over the top of him very easy, doesn't click, doesn't connect, none of that kind of stuff. Uh, but then you can have him in his straight up wrestling gear if you would like to do it that way as well. There it is, you got old Liger right there. Looking only like he can look, old Liger, but very, very cool. I like this one a whole lot. Uh, a little green on here, I guess I didn't look underneath, but he's got the medallions, a little bit of flash of the green color here. So there's a lot to like about this Liger. He does have toe articulation as well. I missed that one uh, before. Toe articulation, double jointed knees. You got the hip swivel, of course. Uh, you got the waist that moves. You got the upper diaphragm that moves. You got butterfly shoulders on this one. You got elbows, double jointed, eh, kind of, kind of. Uh, a little bit limited there. The hands are removable. The head is removable, as you guys saw as well. So plenty of articulation on this figure. Uh, a lot of room uh, to move, a lot of room to do stuff with. So let me pop this head back on here. Very, very solid. I'm a sucker for this red and black one. I like it a whole lot. Does not work with a ringside collectible stand. None of these do. They do not have peg holes on their feet, but they do stand very well. Uh, they've got a nice, strong, big base on them here. Uh, let's do a quick comparison before we get into the other two, just uh, so we know. Here's the latest Survivor Series Hulk Hogan figure. You put him next to Liger. Obviously, it looks okay. I mean, they're the same type of height, but if you guys know Jushin Thunder Liger, he's not quite Hulk Hogan's height level. Uh, he's a little bit uh, smaller, let's say, than Hulk Hogan. But you can smoke and mirrors these guys together. Uh, my recommendation is if you have a miscellaneous wrestling shelf and where I'm headed with all these Ligers now, I'm going to put the Super 7 Andre the Giant figures. I'm going to put uh, the Super 7 New Japan Pro Wrestling figures and then the Storm Collectibles uh, Jushin Thunder Ligers. I'll probably have them all on a shelf together. Kind of the same universe a little bit there. Uh, but you could smoke and mirrors these with your Mattel Elites. Have them on a different riser or have them low or whatever you got to do. But they definitely could work that way. Uh, but just kind of a little bit of a height comparison here with this Hulk Hogan. Just so you can kind of understand the scale that's going on with these. Uh, there's the old Hulkster. I recommend that Hulkster figure. Some people don't like it. I do like it. So there you go. We'll move this Liger over here to the right. Put him there. And now we get the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Jushin Thunder Liger. No cape with this one, which feels a little bit cheated a little bit. I mean, should this be the same price as these when these have these nice ornate capes that are really popping and looking good? I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's one of those things where they say, hey, we've got you this far. You're not just going to buy six of these Ligers for you completists out there. You're going to have to get this. We'll make a little bit more money. Uh, but this one is very uh, Dragon Ranger. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Feels like it's a Jason David Frank going on here. Same articulation, same a lot of everything. I mean, it's reuse city on these, as you guys know. It's just the colorful outfits that really change here. I do like this one a whole lot. I love the green and the golds and the yellows, of course, as an Oakland A's fan. Uh, maybe it's Oakland A's Jushin Thunder Liger. Head pops off very easily, just like the last one, of course. Uh-oh, this one's a little bit more ornate. Okay, so he can pop out the back. So this is the first time we've seen this as well. So I'm learning along with you guys. Got to be careful not to break it. But these straps, this is a, it's kind of like his dragon shield. Is that what it's called in Power Rangers? Waylon Jennings, you reach out, you know the answer to that. Uh, but it's got a connector here. Very light plastic, so be careful. Don't tug on this too hard, but it does snap together his harness there. And then you get straight up Jushin Thunder Liger ready for business in the all green. Pop the head back on. Almost like jewels in the front of his chest and his little chest plate there. Uh, but very solid. I like the green, the gold, the silver. really does pop. An interesting apparatus here. Something we have not really seen before. I'm looking over to the side. All the other Ligers we've received except this one, uh, this one doesn't have a cape. So all the other ones get a big nice cape. This one does not. So that is something totally different here. I believe the Jushin Thunder Liger original attire we got coming later this fall, I don't believe that has a cape either. So I guess there's some precedent being started right now with this one here. But this one is pretty solid. I like the colorings on this one. But once again, a lot of reuse, a lot of repaint. That's what you're going to get. They're getting the most out of their molds with these. And that continues. Moving on down to the purple Jushin Thunder Liger. So we'll put him over here. Now this one is pretty solid as well. Uh, I will say, so this is how they come wrapped. This is a really good idea. Storm Collectibles, they wrap the inside, the outside for the cape. Just protection across the board here. Uh, and all you got to do is simply pop the head off. Pop the head, or the cape off, and then you get this little thing right there. Pop it all back on. Whoa, look at that. Black, white, gray, purple, even kind of a grayish brown on the feet down there. So a lot of good coloring on this one, too. They uh, go all out with these Super, super 7. Storm Collectibles, Jushin Thunder Liger. 
I realize these are not for everybody out there. Leave me a comment. If you guys have these, I, I feel there's a lot of people that maybe bought the traditional Liger attire we know and love and maybe skipped the rest, but let me know where you're at, where you're sitting with these Liger figures. But I like this one, but there's not a ton of meat on the bone in this one. Beautiful cape on this one, of course. The sparkliness, uh, we love that. The gold and the purple, the two different color tones. I think that's one of the best things they could do. It been very easy to just make it all one solid color, but they went above and beyond and gave us two different colors there. Uh, besides that, you're getting the same body, the same body mold, everything else under the sun with the Liger, as usual. Uh, but very, very solid, this purple one. I can see people really jumping on that. If I had to choose between these three, I think the red one's definitely going to be my favorite. I just love the the evilness of it. Is that a word? Is it now? I guess it is. But it just seems like it's a very evil Jushin Thunder Liger. And then uh, these two are pretty similar to me. I, I could really take it either way. I guess for the extra cape, I'll go with the purple one. But the green one's pretty close. And we did get a new apparatus type deal right here. So that is something different at least. So I think we're going to see that in that future Jushin Thunder Liger we're going to get later in the fall from Ringside Collectibles. So there's these three Jushin Thunder Ligers. Now let's bring out the other ones. Uh, now this is the rarest of the rare Jushin Thunder Ligers, the blue one, the Knots exclusive. Uh, limited to only 300 on this one. So this is rare, rare. I almost regret opening it in some ways because it's shot up in value like you wouldn't believe. I think I reviewed this on the channel, and I remember ordering it from a site in Japan. I couldn't read a word of it, I, and I forget how many yen it said. It could have been a million dollars for all I know. I, I could have drained my entire life savings. Who knows how much this could have been, but I think it was like 70, 80 bucks or 100 bucks ship, something like that, luckily, because I was a little nervous. I was like, I have no idea what this costs. I'm just going to hope it's uh, hope for the best and click and order because it did sell out very fast. As you can imagine, only 300 limited, and it was a Japanese exclusive. So there's that one. Then we got the ringside black one. This is another one. I like this one. I'm probably going to display this next door to the red one. Uh, black and red, two really good dominant colors out there. Really do like the looks of those two together. I love this black one as well. This was another one that was, I think, fairly more limited. Maybe they were all the same outside of this one. But this one was sold on its own, where a lot of the other ones were sold in packs, kind of, or in waves, I guess we'll call it. Um, and I believe this was the first one. Now, I always get confused because there's not a lot of difference between these two. Uh, you get a little different colors and stuff like that, but yeah, I can't remember. I think this was the first one, and then uh, this was the second one there. But yeah, two Juice and Thunder Ligers, very similar on these two. I, I recommend if you're just dabbling, you probably just... If you're dabbling in this and you just want one Juice and Thunder Liger, this is probably the road you want to go down. This is the most known outfits, I would say, in Japan or in the United States. This is what most people think of, including myself, when I think Juice and Thunder Liger is kind of this look. Uh, so I would recommend that if you're only wanting one. But if you're going across the board, uh, you got a lot of different ones to choose from. And maybe one day, once we get that other Jushin Thunder Liger, we'll do a top five on the channel. My top five Jushin Thunder Liger Storm Collectible figures. We can put them in order. Maybe even do a top ten by the end of the time. I mean, by the time it's all said and done, we'll probably have over ten Jushin Thunder Ligers from Storm Collectibles. So, uh, But it's very interesting. Uh, this collection is not for everybody. I understand that. Uh, it's barely for me. It's barely for me. I love Jushin Thunder Liger, but when is enough enough? But I guess I have tons of Alta Warriors. I have tons of Hulk Hogan's. I have tons of Macho Man's. And the list goes on and on and on. Why not Jushin Thunder Liger? Uh, it should, I just say he's not my most favorite high flyer. My, my most favorite? My favorite high flyer of all time. I definitely like him, though. I definitely wish I would have saw more of his work, but I was an All Japan guy. I wasn't a big New Japan guy. I dabbled a little bit, but I was all in on All Japan back in the 90s. That's my style of wrestling, the old All Japan. I recommend that. I recommend Liger, too, though. So there it is. Any thoughts of you guys out there? Did you pick up any of these? Do you have all of these? Are you working that completionist game with these Jushin Thunder Ligers? I don't know. I don't see a lot of people picking these up. I don't see a lot of uh, social media posts with people grabbing these. Maybe I'm the only one out there, but let me know I'm not alone, that you picked up these as well. I'd be interested to hear your take on these. If you think it's just a continual cheap cash grab, I could see people saying that. But just give me your thoughts in the comments below on these Storm Collectible Jushin Thunder Ligers. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn the old notification bell on. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, and of course, Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, support the channel, pick up a t-shirt, search Kyle Peterson. So for Jushin Thunder Ligers, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.